While we're still a long way from flying cars, our homes do get smarter every year. From lights we can control with our voices to speakers that will play music by verbal command, there are all kinds of ways we've been able to add intelligence at home. While some smart home innovations make sense, there are others that may seem more gratuitous, and a smart faucet may seem like one of them. In this video, I'll take a look at whether a smart faucet is actually worth it. Alexa. First up, what exactly is a smart faucet? Simply put, a smart Alexa. faucet connects to Wi-Fi to allow voice Ask control or remote on. control over your kitchen water flow. Running Paired with a companion faucet. app for easy setup and usually linked to either Google Alexa. or Alexa for Ask remote voice control, these faucets are beyond clever. I recently reviewed the U by Moen smart faucet and for more on how this smart tap works and what it can do, check out my detailed review. Even so, if you're wondering why you need to talk to your water, you're not alone. It does seem kind of ridiculous to ask for a tap to be turned on or off while you're standing right next to it within literal arm's reach in most cases. Perhaps surprisingly, a smart faucet though does have many useful applications that you might not expect. One of the convenient things a smart faucet can do is run water to a specific temperature. Ask Moen to dispense one and a quarter cups of water at 98 degrees. If you want cold water for a drink or water as hot as you can for a cleaning task, you can ask your smart faucet to be specific. Just saying, hey, A, ask Moen to run hot water will allow your faucet to get the water to the hottest available temperature. In our still germ-conscious world, the importance of hand-washing can't be understated, yet most of us under-time how long it takes to truly cleanse our digits. By asking the smart faucet to launch its hand-washing function, the tap will turn on, allow you to wet your hands, then shut off while you lather, and turn back on at the exact time you should be finished soaping for a good rinse. One of the best uses for a smart tap will have you tossing out your measuring cups. With a quick voice command, you can add precise amounts of water to recipes, drinks, and more. Need to fill a large pot with five gallons of water? Set the pot in the sink and ask. When you've hit the exact amount, the water shuts off on its own, no overflowing or underfilling. You can take measurements one step further with a smart faucet. Some smart taps, like the U by Moen here, will allow you to store measurements for commonly filled items. This is really convenient because, for example, you can set the dog dish in the sink, say, hey, A, fill up the dog bowl, and then walk away without running excess water. Similarly, presets for baby bottles, watering cans, even ice cube trays will be easy and waste-free. This is particularly important in dry or drought-prone parts of the country. But what about the cost? Anyone who's bought a new faucet in the last several years knows they probably cost more than you expected. Kitchen faucets are not cheap, and depending on the style you're choosing, the particular finish you're after, and whether you want special features like a commercial grade sprayer, you can pay from a couple hundred dollars to over a thousand. With that in mind, a smart faucet comes somewhere in the middle of that price range. Naturally, you're paying more for the smart technology, and you can upgrade or downgrade your finish from Honda Civic to Cadillac if you want to. One other consideration Alexa. when opting for a smart tap is that you'll Ask need a smart speaker, and whether you choose a Google Nest Audio or Hub or Amazon's Echo Show 10 or 15, it should be within close range of the tap. So to the question, is a smart faucet worth it? I've had this smart faucet in my home for about a year and a bit. I can definitely tell you there is a honeymoon phase with it where you'll be showing off the precision of your IntelliTap by pouring out shots of water and filling the watering can on command for your dinner party guests. No one here did that, of course. I rely a lot less on it on a day-to-day -day basis today than I did initially, but it's still insanely convenient, particularly when my measuring cups are all in the dishwasher. I also use it for multitasking quite a bit. I'll put the dog water bowl in the sink and ask for a fill up while I'm unloading the dishwasher. And because I'm forever getting distracted, the water shuts off automatically. So it's not running on and on. In short, a smart faucet isn't going to change your life and you won't be recycling your measuring cups just yet. But for a nominal additional cost over a traditional faucet, a smart faucet can be a handy helper in the kitchen. If you want to read this topic or reference any of what I've talked about here, head over to digitaltrends.com for a full write-up. There you can ask me any questions you have about smart faucets. You can, of course, also post them here in comments below.
Thank you so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Tech Gadgets Canada.